Hi, you're with Chandi Parkurli and let's take a look at the ceiling function in Excel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you two applications of ceiling function by an example. So let's take a look at this example here. What we have here is different products from 1 to 10 and their exact price. So uh, this is $5,182.7. Now what if I want to round off the price to the nearest 100? So if this is 5182, this should be $5,200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ceiling function. So when I say equals to ceiling, this is going to ask me for two things. The first one is the number. So this is my number and I want to round it off by 100. So significance means the rounding off factor. So if you write 100, this is going to take this number and round it off to the next multiple of 100. I close the bracket. The next multiple of 100 is 5200 and you are going to get 5200. I drag this formula down to the rest of the cells and you would find that all these numbers are rounded off to the next multiple of 100. On the contrary, what you could also do is you can also round it off to the next multiple of 5. So you can just pick up 5 here, press enter. Now this is going to be rounded off to the next multiple of 5. So 5182, next multiple of 5 is 5185, right? One of the other applications of the ceiling function is to find the quarter number. So let's say we have 12 months from, from 1 till 12 and these are the quarter numbers. So months 1, 2, 3 fall in the first quarter. Then the next three months fall in the second quarter and then the third quarter for the next three months and finally the last three months fall in the fourth quarter. But as of now these quarter numbers are written manually, right? How can I derive these column numbers using the ceiling function is what I'm going to teach you. So equals to ceiling, I pick up the number and then I push it push this number to the next multiple of 3. I close the bracket and I get 3. So, and I drag it down. So 1, 2 and 3 will be pushed to the next multiple of 3 which is 3 itself. And then you will get 6 and then you will get 9 and then you will get 12. Alright. So the first 3 are 3 and then 6 and then 9 and then 12 because these numbers are being pushed to the next multiple of 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ceiling function that is giving me the next multiple of 3 and then divide this by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is going to give you 1 and uh, 6 divided by 3 is going to give you 2. Here we had 9. 9 divided by 3 is going to give you 3 and then finally 4. So you can see that how can we generate column numbers using the ceiling function. So that was the ceiling function. I hope you liked it. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter or on YouTube. And you can also read all the blogs at goodie.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.